So you guys just signed a new player, Mallory, the last few days. Can you talk about that decision? Yeah, I think uh, we spoke about maybe a week ago, uh, a player that would need to come in, would be a player that, a young one that we get to develop, but also has can play a big role during periods of the season. Uh, Mallory is someone that we wanted in the draft, and we didn't have the ability to get hold of her in the draft. Opportunity, a great opportunity arose to, to get hold of her. And she is a very hard-working, um, great, great hard-working player, great character. She's great 1v1, loves to get crosses and loves to get in the box to finish. Suits exactly the, the, the character and type of player that we wanted. Um, and cool that we got her. And we also got a third-round pick in a very strong draft next year. Um, so very, very pleased. And you, you mentioned, we'd asked you a little bit about uh, depth at the forward position. Do you think this kind of clears up... Um, any, any issues about depth in that area? I think we'd want one more. We'd want more, one more player that um, can be to play big minutes and be big time when we need that. Um, one more player in, in, in those positions up there, I think that makes us feel very good. Right now we're in a good place, but we need to be in a very good place. Uh, do, are you looking to see if you can get that type of player through the allocation draft at a later point or in some other mechanism? I think we're looking at uh, we're going to get it through the only options we've got, but through allocation, through trade, or an international signing. And we are we're looking and planning for all three. You know what? What is our best option internationally? What's our best option in, in a trade? What's our best option if the allocation can happen? Um, and you guys made the decision to pass in this at least first look at allocation um, or dis distribution draft, whatever they're calling it. What? Are you, are you hoping there's something coming out down the road that's a little bit more in line yes. with what you want? Um, and through the tournament so far, what have been your biggest kind of takeaways about what you're seeing from the team? I think that um, we're working very hard, we're fighting for each other, um, we're competing very well. <clears throat> On Sunday against Seattle, we had large spells of control and we were dangerous with control. On Wednesday, we had lot, uh, all game was under control, but we were not dangerous. Um, and when we were, it was rare. Uh, and I think tomorrow, can, can we combine those two? Can we have more control than Sunday and also be more dangerous than we were on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. And then defensively continue relationships. While there's different people and different bodies in, in different positions, our principles and how we're defending, um, we can continue to build those relationships with someone new or someone the same, and hammering in how we defend, how we defend all over the pitch. And obviously this is the fourth season of the NWSL. What does it mean to see that um, the league getting to its fourth season, saying that it hasn't happened in this country up until now? It's very good, but also because of how well it's been going, it, it's not a surprise. You know, a year ago, you would never. it's not even on your mind that, that um, the league wouldn't be going into its fourth year. So I actually haven't spent much time thinking about it because it just looks so good and so strong since the start. And I think the last couple of years when you see Houston and Orlando joining and, and you hear, and I don't know, but you hear other clubs knocking at the door, um, you just, I don't spend time thinking about it, you just feel very, very positive about the strength of the league. And, and more importantly, the, the clubs that are in the league, they're getting stronger. I mean, that's been a big difference from 15 to 16 now. Um, a lot of new head coaches, um, a lot of uh, new, new executives being hired in and around the clubs and around the league. Yeah, while, while if the league wants more clubs in the league, then that's cool, but we've got to take care of the standards every day in each club that are currently in. And I think there's, there's been a good job across the board. Um, our focus here has been continuing to improve what we can do here. I think we've done that very well. Why do you, what do you think makes this league that has been so stable and that there really hasn't been a question, at least at this point, that it could fold? Or? Yeah, I think you've got a huge credit to to players and their commitment to doing this, the clubs, the owners, everyone involved in the club, and day in, day out, making the clubs as strong as they are, and the fans. The fans, um, not just supporting this, but they are all in on this. And they, they get out here and they support across the league, and, and they're, they're, they're just buying tickets, they're buying merchandise, and um, I feel like the fans have played a massive role in making sure uh, 
And this is this is exciting, and, the, and it starts with the players. It starts with the players making sure there's a great product, and I think we've done that. Do you think you, there's a possibility that other places could start seeing the fans like is happening in Portland? Obviously, Orlando's hoping for um, a good fan support this year. Or do you think there's something unique about Portland? I think there's you know, something very unique about Portland. Um, it's hard to say can can other clubs do what Portland done? You know, can other clubs keep improving? The same here. You know, what we have here, um, can we keep improving our support and growing that support? Um, and then every other club, where, wherever they are at, they've got to be trying to move forward. Um, I think here, um, we're, we're in a way fortunate, um, but this is a lot of hard work. A lot of fans, the fans have been growing it, you know, they're, they're born into being uh, Timbers and now a Thorns fan. You know, there's, this, there's a lot of history here in this city, in this club, and I'm only just starting to learn the history. Um, other clubs, some of them have some history and some of them are making their history at the moment in, in, because they're a new club. Um, so hopefully everyone keeps moving forward. And then, are, do you have any concerns about how the league could be impacted with um, all the stuff going on with the women's side in U.S. soccer right now with the lawsuits and everything? Yeah, I wouldn't be in a position to make any comment on all that stuff. Thank you, Mark.